that's uh, deadlier than fentanyl is showing up on American streets. Data released by the Tennessee Department of Health showing that drug could be 10 times as potent and overdose cases may be underreported because the labs don't usually test for this. So, Jonathan, Sarah, we got another one to deal with. Good morning to you. What do we know about it? Yeah, we do indeed, Bill. Because of limited testing, we don't know how many nidazine-related overdoses have occurred in the U.S., but we do know of some disturbing trends. In a report published by the CDC, Tennessee health officials warned they've seen four times as many overdoses from nidazine-related drugs in 2021 as they did the previous year. That prompted West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey to write a letter to DEA Administrator Ann Milgram asking for information on what's being done to assess and combat the problem. He says his state has seen a significant increase in deaths from fentanyl products using raw ingredients from China and then manufactured and packaged by drug cartels in Mexico. And then it comes over the border into the heartlands and into West Virginia where people are being slaughtered by fentanyl. So when I hear of a new product that could be 10 times more lethal than fentanyl, that gets my attention because we have to be very proactive Health officials say the opioid overdose reversing drug Narcan can reverse overdoses from nitazines, but multiple doses may be required because of the potency of nitazines. After a series of suspected fentanyl overdoses among students, the nation's second large, largest school district, Los Angeles, has announced it will make Narcan available at all K through 12 schools in the coming weeks. We have the appropriate stock that we need. We're going to start with about 600 units, which means every one of our senior high schools and middle schools will have these units in hand. And Bill, nitazines were originally created as a potential pain reliever 60 years ago, but they were never uh, approved for use in the U.S. Wow. Back to you. Thanks, Jonathan, for bringing that to our attention. Jonathan Sari out of Atlanta today. Thanks, Dave. Well, the fentanyl crisis is now taking root in America's classrooms. Los Angeles police say at least seven teenagers have overdosed on suspected fentanyl pills in just the last month. Dr. Mark Siegel is a professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center and a Fox News contributor. And the superintendent says they have an urgent crisis on their hands, Doctor. Absolutely, Dana. Several overdose deaths in the last few weeks. Uh, what Jonathan Siri was just talking about is they're, they're going to bring naloxone or Narcan into the schoolroom. 1,400 schools, over 430,000 students. Here's the issue with that, though. I want to say right here, anybody can use that Narcan. It's a spray. You spray it into your nose, and they're going to spend time trying to figure out who can administer it. I think anybody can administer it. It works for about 30 or 90 minutes to reverse the effects of fentanyl. But as you might imagine, after that, it wears off. So we need people to be on the lookout for changes in behavior, for, for kids becoming confused, for difficulty with breathing, for lethargy, all of that, by the way. And here's the most important point. Dana, if you give the spray and you're wrong, nothing happens. Oh. There's no side effects for that. So we need...